In this episode of the Pension Special Series, we're going to look at how much money you need to save in order to achieve a moderate standard of living in retirement. Firstly, we'll look at what a moderate standard of living actually means, and then we'll look at a retirement income simulator, so don't miss that. Parts one and two of this series are linked in the description below, and before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we are going to assume that retirees will receive the full state pension, for which you need 35 qualifying years of national insurance contributions. Check out the video linked above and in the description below to see if you do qualify. And I've also provided a link on how to fill any gaps in your national insurance record. Remember that the full state pension will form the big foundation to your retirement income, so do what you can to make sure you get the maximum amount. In the previous video, we took a quick look at annual income needs of individuals and couples in order to achieve a moderate standard of living according to the retirement living standards. The retirement living standards came up with three categories, minimum, moderate and comfortable. It is important not to get confused by terminology, so if we compare the retirement living standards against which, then you'll see that there is differences in the way they define the categories. So for example, the moderate standard of living with the retirement living standards is called a comfortable standard of living with which. And likewise, the retirement living standards comfortable category is called luxurious in the which classifications. So just be clear on those differences between the way the terms are used. So we're focusing on the intermediate category here, which is the moderate standard of living as defined by the retirement living standards. The retirement living standards is based upon much research and I have linked to the website in the description below if you want to go and find out more. According to the research by the retirement living standards, a single person needs an annual retirement income of around £20,800 a year and a couple need £30,600 in order to get that moderate standard of living. And if you're in London, those values are slightly higher, which is 24,500 for a single person and 36,200 for a couple. On their website, you can explore each category in more detail to see what these income needs actually mean. You can also change the slider bar from single to a couple, and that changes the data within the tables below. The tabs across the top also show the different spending categories such as house related costs, transport costs and you can explore these in more detail. A summary of typical spends is also provided for both single people and couples so you can explore these categories and see which lifestyle you most fit into. So this data can really help you decide on what your retirement income needs will actually be and I also did a video on retirement income planning which I'll link in the description below and also in the cards above and that will help you determine how much money you actually need on a personal level for your retirement income. So if we assume that when you come to retire you will receive the full state pension and if you're in a couple then both of you would receive the full state pension. That's the assumption we're working with here. So how much money would you have to be generating in order to achieve that moderate standard of living income? So here we're going to deduct the full state pension from the moderate standard of living values. So for a single person, that's £20,800, from which we are deducting the full state pension that it will be from April 2022, and that leaves an annual income need of £11,172.20 in order to get you up to that moderate standard of living value. And for a couple, when we deduct two full state pensions from the target income need of 30,600, that means you need around 11,344 pounds 40 to top up your retirement income to get you that moderate standard of living. Obviously in London, it will be a little bit more that you will need. So with a shortfall, we're looking at around between 11 and 12,000 pounds a year of additional income you need to achieve that moderate standard of living on top of your state pension. We saw in episodes one and two that if you have a £50,000 or a £100,000 pension pot then you're only going to be generating quite small retirement incomes from that money ranging from around £1,500 to just under £5,000 per annum. And recent data by which has suggested that people with a pension pot of just over £265,000 would be able to buy a £10,000 a year annuity at current rates. So we are looking at particularly large pension pot sizes in order to generate an 11 to £12,000 a year income. 
Now one thing to note is that annuity rates at the present time are at all time lows. So it all depends on when you actually do come to retire at what the annuity rates will be of that day and how much money you would actually get. So this is just a guide for your retirement planning. But be sure to talk through your options with a qualified financial advisor when you are considering how to use your pension benefits when you do come to retire. So now we're going to look into the detail of what kind of pension pots you need to be aiming for in order to generate an 11 to 12,000 pounds a year income to get that moderate standard of living as defined by the retirement living standards. We're now going to run through a pension income simulator and this was produced by 2020 Financial and it is freely available online and I'll leave that linked in the description below. Remember that this simulator is a guide to what your retirement income needs may actually be and it uses past market data, which we all know is no guarantee of future performance. So just use this as a guide in your retirement income planning. Remember also to factor in investment fees because they do eat into your returns. And my mantra is keep your fees as low as possible. So over to the calculator and in this calculator, you can edit the data on the left hand side. We're going to assume that you will retire at state pension age, whatever state pension age is for you and have a retirement duration of around 20 years. Of course, that could be more or less, but we have no crystal ball. A £250,000 pension pot has often been used as a target pension pot size. So we're going to start off with that amount and see whether using drawdown, you can draw down enough income to give you that moderate standard of living as defined by the retirement living standards. Obviously, if you do not qualify for the full state pension, you would need to be generating more than 11 to 12,000 pounds in order to achieve that moderate standard of living. So when we enter the data into this calculator, you can see straight away that the withdrawal of 11,000 pounds a year is more than 4%. And the general rule of thumb for a sustainable withdrawal during drawdown is to take no more than three to 4% of your retirement income. So a 250,000 pound pension pot would not provide you with a sustainable moderate standard of living on top of your state pension. On the right hand side of this calculator, you can see that 9% of the time the simulations run would end below zero. And that means you would run out of money during retirement. And in this case, it shows you would run out of money by about 92,000 pounds. So you'd either need to save more into your retirement fund before you do actually retire or choose to withdraw less during retirement and reduce your retirement living standard. The chart below shows the results of the simulations run and it is wise to ignore the outliers, such as the high performing outlier in this simulation here, because it is clearly an anomaly. It is much safer to go for the more average growth. If you wish, you can also adjust the different types of portfolios run in this simulation, but I'm going to stick with just the balanced portfolio in the examples run here. So to generate a sustainable withdrawal rate from your pension pot of £250,000, we'll change the withdrawal rate to 4%, which would give a £10,000 a year income in this example. So you would not be much below the target retirement income for a moderate standard of living. Now the simulations ending in zero is down to 2.5%, but that still means that you could run out of money during retirement at this rate of withdrawal. And if you do run out of money, it's more likely to be in the latter part of this 20 year period for which we've run the simulations. So let's see how much we need to increase the pension pot size in order to get that £11,000 a year with a withdrawal rate of no more than 4%. So the results show that we need to increase the pension pot to £300,000 in order to generate this income. And that is a withdrawal rate of just under 4%. If we want to up that to a £12,000 a year annual income, then we need to increase the pension size to £325,000 to get that sustainable withdrawal over a 20 year period. So you'll note in these simulations that those ending in zero are now down to 0%. So there's no chance that your money would run out according to these simulations. But of course, that's no guarantee because none of us knows what the future will hold and how the stock market will perform. So a 300 to 325,000 pounds pension pot is a good target to aim for in order to get that sustainable withdrawal through drawdown over a 20 year period to get that moderate standard of living. If you live longer and have a 30 year retirement, then the simulations do show that you would start running out of money during that last decade of your retirement. But by then you may find that you are less active and your income needs are less although an 83 year old man has just hiked the Appalachian Trail. 
but also during the latter part of your retirement, you may be quite happy to start running down and depleting your pension pot size because you can't take the money with you. It all depends on what your personal views are and whether you want to actually preserve money to pass on to beneficiaries. So you can see it takes an awful lot of cash to generate a pension income of between 11 and 12,000 pounds a year and you need to be saving around 300 to 325,000 pounds into your pension fund in today's prices. And the earlier you start paying into your pension, then the easier it is to achieve that because you benefit from the magic of compounding. So it will actually cost you less to achieve these big pension pot sizes. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching.